everybody and welcome to Victorian Kettle. I am doing a special one today. I am making Italian ribbon cookie. Um, I learned to make this from my mom. It was a special treat at Christmas um, and it's beautiful. It's going to be a layered cake and you color it in red, white, and green. Um, it's a, of course that's why they call it Italian ribbon cookie and um, it's going to be filled with a raspberry nut filling and you pour chocolate on top and it's just divine and um, so I am going to get started for time's sake and what you're going to need is your mixer and before I did that I I actually got um, aluminum 9 by 13 pans and you want wax paper and you want to spray it so you're going to spray it with some cooking spray that wax paper and line that with some wax paper okay and i have three pans because you're going to need a red white and green so what you need is three sticks of butter and they these were at room temperature okay and those are already in there and one cup of sugar okay and you're going to cream this um butter and sugar together um, you're also going to need three separate bowls because we'll divide the dough and we're going to color, leave one white and the other ones are going to be red and green. So the thing that makes this cake so special is it contains almond paste. So you're going to buy some almond paste and you're going to use six ounces and I've cut that up, chopped it up pretty fine and that's what it gives the cake this yummy almond flavor. I mean, don't tell anybody I've been eating the almond paste it's so good um but um that's what makes this cake taste so delicious so i'm gonna get a couple spoons out here and um you're gonna cream this and you're also gonna then put in the almond paste and let's get um some of that butter out you know how it gets stuck so cream this together and it's looking pretty good right now and get that creamed up so these are also really good at christmas because they're red and green and um, you could probably be very creative you, you don't have to make the cakes red and green you could probably do whatever color you want and whatever jam we use raspberry with the ground nuts and you could probably use whatever uh, flavor jam you want so I'm going to now pour in this almond paste and because for time purposes here and I'm just going to get that going again. There we go. We're going to cream that all together and then you need four eggs and I've already cracked these eggs and you're also going to need um, a teaspoon of almond extract. So once this gets creamed, we're going to add the eggs one at a time. And uh, let me get my spoon out again. I just love it when this butter gets all stuck in the um, in the uh, mixer there. So I'm trying to get going for time purposes, and uh, so you guys can see this. It's a beautiful. Wait till you see the end. It's was a special treat. Uh, my mother always made this Italian ribbon cookies at Christmas. And they're beautiful um, and I'm making them for my niece's wedding that's coming up in a month and um, it will be beautiful for an afternoon tea as well okay so I'm gonna start adding one egg at a time here okay actually two just went in there but that's okay. and get this creamed and I'm gonna need a tablespoon of one teaspoon, I'm sorry, of almond extract. Let's get that in there. So this cake, the cakes have an almondy flavor, obviously with the almond extract and the almond paste, um, which I just love. Okay. And then two more eggs to go. There we go. And that's mixing up real nice. And what I'm going to do is stop this and scrape down the sides and make sure it's getting all creamed. Um, and you wanted to make sure too your butter was at room temp. 
which mine was, I had it sitting out, and you want to scrape down the sides. You know, always make sure you're, you want everything mixed evenly. So um, just make sure you're cleaning out this and mixing that so it all gets nice and creamed. You know, you don't want any chunks in, in your cake. Um, and make sure you scrape down those sides, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna keep going here. It's going. So then the last thing we're going to do with this cake is I had pre-measured two cups of flour. And once this gets all creamed, I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Um, we're going to add the flour slowly and get it into a nice dough. And then what we're going to do, let me move some of this out of the way here. You're going to need three bowls. And like I said, one, you're going to divide this. One's going to stay white and we're going to color the other ones red and green. And then we'll pour them into our cake pans. And we're gonna bake these cakes at, um, at 350 for 15 minutes. Okay. It's looking real good. I'm gonna speed that up a little bit just for time's sake. You want to make sure all that almond paste that we use um, is all mixed up and the butter and everything's all nice and creamed before you start adding the flour. And it's looking real good. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, one more time, just scrape this down. And then we are going, oh, it smells delicious <gasps> with that almond paste and the imitation i love anything almond i love almond flavor icing i just think it does something for the cookies okay so now what i'm going to do is start adding a little bit of flour at a time here and again this was two cups of flour okay so we're going to get this going very slowly here put it on slow so the flour doesn't all uh, fly out there and I hope everybody's having a good day and this is looking really nice so like I said a little bit at a time you add the flour and again this would be when they come out and you cut the square and you see all the colors and the beautiful raspberry and nut filling with the chocolate on top, it just looks beautiful. I mean, it doesn't have to be at Christmas. Um, it can be for a beautiful tea. Like I said, I'm making them for my niece's wedding coming up in a month. Uh, we're in charge of the uh, cookie table. In Pittsburgh here, it's a tradition that you have a big cookie table. Not only do you need a wedding cake, but you need a cookie table <laughs> in Pittsburgh. So that's the traditional cookie, wedding cookie table in Pittsburgh, if anyone's ever heard of that. So yes, I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So let's see, I'm going to scrape this down one more time and just make sure everything in there, you can see the, um, the, what the batter's looking like. And uh, I'm not going to take a little lick, even though I'm tempted. <laughs> because I love almond, anything almond flavored, right? Oh, so yummy. Let's make sure we're scraping down all these sides. It's very important. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit longer and I think we'll be good. We can divide it into our three bowls and we're gonna color one red and one green. Okay. It's looking real good. Okay, so let's stop that and I am going to get this all off of here and divide it into the bowls. Okay, here we go. Okay. So it's really hard for me to keep my videos under 10 minutes, although they tell you on YouTube not to have long videos, but it's like, how do you not? I'm a, a cooking show. So I try to get it quick, as quickly as I can. So let me get that spoon that I had here. And I'm going to divide this into three bowls, okay? Let's see if we can get this pretty even here. 
um, so we can get them colored and I can show you what the colors look like and get them into their pans and pop these in the oven. Okay. All right. That's looking pretty even right now. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. So that this is what the batter looks like. Okay. It's just nice and creamy and almondy. Oh, so good. So good. Actually, I am probably just going to take one little, one little lick there. Mm. It's really good. Okay, so let me keep going here. So what we're gonna do now is color these, and I'm gonna need more spoons here. Grab a couple spoons. So I've got them in three bowls, and I'm gonna color one red. So here we go. I'm gonna drop, and I want it really, really red. So I'm putting several colors of red in there, and then also the green. So let's get that going too. I want it really, really beautiful green. Okay, and a beautiful red. Let's just do a couple more here. Okay, so here we go, because I don't want it pink. And you could also use the gel paste, whatever you want. Um, it doesn't matter that it's liquid or gel. It doesn't change anything with the cake. So I think I'm going to need a little bit more red. Still on the pink, pink side. Want it a beautiful, beautiful red color. Okay, here we go. See how that's looking. You guys can see that, the red, the beautiful red. And then I'm going to mix up the green. And when I come back, I'm going to keep mixing. That's the red. This is the green. If you can see that, how I'm starting to get that green color in this dough. Oh, this is a beautiful, this is going to be a beautiful green. Yeah. You want a nice dark, dark, dark green. So I'm going to get these mixed up. Once you get the colors mixed of white, red, and green, you're going to put them in their pan. So we have white, red, and green. I'm going to get those in and get them going in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how to assemble the filling and the cake. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. The cake's um, baked for 15 minutes. And as you can see, I have three beautiful colors. I have the red, the white, and the, um, and the green. And they're going to bake up kind of, um, they're not going to puff up like a cake. It's, it's a cookie. Uh, and, um, and so don't be alarmed. It is kind of a hard spread in those pans. So, um, this is a, a little bit of a difficult recipe. So what you're going to do is I cleaned up the edges. So from the pan and just kind of cleaned those up a bit. And what you're going to do is get a pan. I like to use this with the lid so that I can just store it in here. And um, you're going to put a first layer on the bottom. Okay, there we go. And let me get this out of the way. And what I did ahead of time was took raspberry um, preserves, okay, raspberry jam, and I mixed it with a cup of ground uh, walnuts. So that's your filling, is the raspberry jam and ground walnut. So I'm going to spread a layer on top of this green. So I'm putting green on the bottom, okay? And um, then I'm going to put white in the middle and then red on top. So, and you want to make sure you get this spread real nice. Okay, so I'm going to spread this. And always, uh, my mother always tells me, mind my corners, right? I want to make sure the corners are not dry. So let's get the corners here. And um, you want to make sure you have enough for, you know, two layers and that you're, that you're really getting a generous amount um, on top of this cookie. Now, 
I think I need a little bit more over here on this edge and on some of these edges. Okay, it's looking really beautiful. Okay, okay. All right, so I have the raspberry jam spread on there. And as you can see there, so like I said, I'm gonna use white as my middle color. Okay, so we're gonna lift this and stick it right on top of the green. Aha, there we go, looking beautiful. And if you, um, you know, crack a piece, whatever, don't worry about that. I'm just gonna stick that little piece right there. Okay, so now the white is on top. And then what you're gonna do is spread the remaining jam on top of this white. Okay, it's looking really good. I'm telling you, the flavors in this with the um, almond um, paste and the almond flavoring in the cake mixed with this raspberry jam with the, um, with the nut filling, okay? And then what I didn't tell you is when you put what the top layer is going to be melted chocolate. And I got some good chocolate. I got some um, Shirodelli chocolate, uh, semi-sweet chips um, that will melt and then it goes right on top of this ribbon cookie. Okay, okay a little bit more here and um, okay. All right, that's looking real good, really moist. So now that I've got that all covered, I think I got enough here. Let me get this corner. You wanna make sure your corners are covered and nothing is left, you know, dry. You wanna have enough filling um, so that nothing is dry, okay? Nothing worse than a dry cookie, right? Okay, a little bit more there. Make sure we use this all up. And um, okay, we're good to go. So now you're gonna put the red on top of that white. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Ah, one little piece, okay. So I'm gonna kind of lean this, if you can see that. And so it's layered, three, three layers there. So now what we're going to do is, you're gonna take this and cover it with another piece of wax paper. And you're going to put a heavy thing of flour, like a bag of flour. Um, in fact, I have one here. So you're gonna cover this cake with a, uh, some more wax paper, and you're gonna put that flour right on top of this cake, and you're gonna let it sit like that um, overnight. You, you really want it overnight. I'm just gonna do it for a few hours, just for time purposes, um, so I can show you the topping and, um, and the finished product. But typically, you want this overnight, so what you would do is cover it, let me get out another piece of wax paper here. And um, okay. And of course, nothing ever goes right when you need it to, right? Okay. So there we go. So we've got our wax paper covering that cake real nice. And we're going to put this flour right on top of that cake. Don't worry, it's going to, you want it to flatten that. And you're gonna leave that overnight. And then um, what you're going to do is melt um, your bag of chocolate chips. And be sure when you melt it to put in a, a tablespoon or two of Crisco um, when you melt it because uh, you want that when you cut the cookie, you don't want the chocolate to uh, break and um, sometimes it can crack and break and that Crisco prevents it from cracking and breaking. So you're gonna melt this and then that chocolate, you'll pour the chocolate on top and let that cool. And um, the cookies are divine. You're gonna love them. So when I come back, uh, we can show you the finished product. Okay, thank you. Welcome back and the ribbon cookie 
Uh, I um, melted the chocolate. So what you needed again was a bag of really good chocolate and you're gonna melt that with two tablespoons of Crisco. Don't forget the Crisco because when you pour it on top and you cut and it dries and you cut the cookie, you don't want it cracking. So it helps to make keep it smooth and easy to cut. So once I melted that, I poured it on top of the cookie. And of course, here's the finished product. Um, let me get this up. And I poured that on top of the cookie and let it sit and you know harden overnight. And there's your beautiful Italian ribbon cookie. Look at that green, white, red with the raspberry filling and nuts and chocolate on top. I'm going to tell you this is the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. It's just with the almond flavoring and it, it's just divine. So it'd be wonderful for an afternoon tea, um, of course. And um, I mean, it's wonderful anytime. And I'm making them for my niece's wedding. And I have a plate full to deliver to family. So um, again, uh, my business is Victorian Kettle. I cater Victorian tea parties www.victoriankettle.com and uh, this is a process to make um, so just um, but it's well worth it and um, I'm glad I was able to film this and show you this divine product so beautiful everybody I hope you have a wonderful day thank you so much